don't want to evangelize to them. If Dr. Taco never evangelized to me, I don't know where I would be today. In gross reality, they are real people all around the world that are genuinely looking for some type of social interaction. To fill some void in their life that they might be missing in their life. They're people that are lost. They're kind of recluse or shut up to where they don't want to go out to the real world again so they retreat to the virtual world. I was very unhappy in my life. I became an alcoholic. I just became so depressed and spiteful of everybody around me. To get away from that, I just wanted to be alone with other people that were also lonely and introverted. And so I initially found this game called VR Chat. In virtual reality, people are inherently more simple than they are in real life. Whenever I was in VR, I would drink and I would just ruin everybody's day. I would say very hateful things to them, say very hurtful things to them. And so a lot of people in virtual reality, they, they do that. They're able to open up about their sins and they're able to hang out with people that enables them to continue to be more simple than they would be in real life. Six bags of food. Yes, and we served um, four families. We prayed with all of them, and it was it was a wonderful time. So we're seeing the <laughs> the need and the response go up. Okay, you know, especially at Christmas time. Oh yes, and uh, so it was wonderful to get to minister to those folks. And we're adding some things in, like ground beef, and you know, uh -huh. just making it even better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we had a great, great food pantry. All right, so January 13th is the next time. If you think that you know somebody that could benefit, there, uh, that'd be good just to pass that on. Rita, did you have something to add? No. Okay, all right. I stole the fun bit. Excited. All right, what's next? Okay, 
Annie Armstrong Gold, $2,500 to date, $360. 100% of your gifts go to the Lottie Moon Christmas Offering, Enable Gospel Transformation Among the Unreached. So it is a uh, it is a is a, a, a very awesome program that the IMB does. Operation Christmas Child. Again, put this on your calendar. February the tenth, Prairie Grove Baptist. Be there. Right? That's right. <laughs> I see everybody came back from uh, being up at the distribution center. Yep. Most of us are healthy. <laughs> <laughs> There's one still a little pressure, but we're okay. All right. Did I miss anything here? John? Yes. I just wanted to thank everyone for coming to the Christmas party last night. We had a really good turnout. And I especially want to thank Caroline and Faye Curtis and Tammy and uh, who else? <laughs> Linda. Linda Moore. <laughs> It was a good time. It was a good time. John? Um, yep. That same day, February the 10th, is going to be a busy day because that, um, the OTC thing is in the morning and maybe early afternoon, but that evening is a Valentine event, so I'll put that on the calendar. And Melissa Risch is, um, is the sub subcommittee for that uh, chair. And so, um, so if you want to help with that or if you have questions about that, um, she's the one to ask. That's the one. And it's February the 10th. All right. We're a little bit of church there. We're busy, aren't we? We have Valentine's stuff. We have OCC stuff. Here. We have choir. We have food pantry. We have cowboys. I mean, I didn't I get all of this. We have got it. Praise the Lord. We won't have choir practice until after the first of the year. All right, take a break, right? Yep. All right, church leader, let's say our prayer together. Father God, God keep us in your name. Always walk in your truth. So we are prayer to one another, Jesus, the only source of eternal life. Amen. 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 Ready? I'm so glad I'm part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Join us with Jesus as we travel. Mrs. Please. God the Father, thank you for allowing us to be part of your family, for giving us the privilege of knowing you and serving you. Help us to do your will and be mindful of what we need to do to be a blessing to others around us. Thank you for this church and keep us active and strong in all of our endeavors. Thank you for your love and be with all those on our prayer list and give them your healing, loving guidance. Give us a good week to serve you and help us to strive to look to every opportunity to do so. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs>